Hi everyone, um, welcome back to another video. Uh, as you can see, my hair is going a lot longer now. Um, I'm sort of growing it out still. It's all like an experiment, I'm trying to experiment with it. And yeah, it feels good. Um, but yeah, today what I wanted to do was. Um, yeah, today what I wanted to do was um, a review of Avatar, which I saw recently. I'm actually going to see a second time today. I think it's so good. I saw the first Avatar, I did a review of that. And yeah, just the Avatar movie, they're just incredible, they're just so good. Um, it's breathtaking to see like kind of Etiri's eyes, you know, the um, that Zoe Saldana's um, character. Her, her massive eyes, they just, it just mesmerises me how amazing, it's almost like it takes my breath away. I, I was quite emotional watching them as well. And the Avatar movies are so good, like Pandora and everything, they're trying to get this unobtainium in the first movie, in the second movie they create a family. And throughout the movie they always say, like, I see you, I see you. I don't know why, but because James Cameron's a vegan, I always think about the animals and stuff as well, so it makes it quite emotional. I think about, oh god, I see you, and then the avatars are kind of singing it to each other, and it's really powerful. It's incredible how they made the movie as well. It's like almost, I think the first movie is obviously the highest grossing movie of all time, and now the um, the second movie is like the um, fifth highest grossing movie of all time already, I think. And it's going to go up, and it's almost like a two billion gross, and they thought they could do it. I just absolutely love the movie. I think, they're, I think the movies are just so incredible. Um, I think they're they really taking into account, you know, the film, 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 it. and even James Cameron said, you know, it's what you go to the cinema for to see movies like this. I like I said, the cinematography, the the, the effects, um, pan, you know, Pandora, and obviously all the way they created it, they had to film a lot of it at the sequel underwater, which is incredible. They had to use like kind of put things on their face and everything so they can monitor it, so they can create the avatars with it and stuff. And a lot of the, the characters look just like them as well. I think it's incredible. I think it's mind-boggling and it really is the height of human intelligence how we can create movies like this um, it's just it's just mesmerizing for me it's breathtaking I was getting quite emotional I said the song from the first movie I see you probably my favorite one of my favorite songs of all time I absolutely love it but the whole thing just took my breath away I mean the first one was I still prefer the first one I have already seen the second one but I will see the second one a second time uh, I think it's incredible and it's also almost got two billion gross so the first one's the highest grossing movie of all time with 2.9 billion, the second one is almost there. It's, it's at two, I think it's at over 1.95 billion now, and it's, it's about to overtake it. And like I said, it's just incredible. Like I said, Itiri and everything, the way they created that character, obviously Jake, Jake Sully in it as well. He's just called Jake Sully as well. He has, he's not called like a, um, a Navi name. He's actually just called, which is fair enough, isn't it? And they have like kind of three biological kids in the second film. They got like a few adopted or something. And I just think it's incredible. Yeah, I just think it's absolutely incredible how they made these movies, and um, it's like a really is like an uh, honour to James Cameron because like I said, he's got three of the top ten now, three of the top ten movies. It's just incredible what he's done, and I've got to really, you know, give um, you've got to give him credit. You've got to give him massive credit and applause for how he's managed to turn this movie into what it is, into like a game changer, really, which is just exactly the name of his doc vegan documentary that he, he stars in. Not really his vegan documentary. But he's vegan, like I said, the song from the first movie, I See You, I just think of like a vegan song, and then a lot of the stuff in this one, when, when I think there's a whale or something in it, and, and then it flows back to when the humans were trying to capture the whale, and then that's why the, the whale's been sort of put out to one side, it's been sort of um, um, cast out a little bit, and he, he's, he's scared of the humans, this big gentle whale, scared of what the humans try to do, they try to capture him, they try to, uh, and, they, and they kill part of his family, so they kill, he killed them like as a retaliation, and they, and they said you can't come here anymore. I, I, I don't know, but it's just such, such an incredible movie. Like I said, some people might not 100% be with it. I think my dad says something like it's full of a load of blue people, doesn't mean he understand it, which is fair enough. But I think um, I think you've got to see it. It's a breathtaking movie. It's not a kid's movie. I mean, the second one is more family oriented, more children oriented. Perhaps part of the reason why I do prefer the first one. But even in an interview, James Cameron said he wanted that. He wanted the second film. Perhaps it's because, you know, I'm on a relationship at the moment, I've got kids, obviously. So perhaps it's just a, a level of relatability that I can't quite relate to, to the idea of having children and, and that kind of going with it. Perhaps that's what it is. I, I, obviously, I'm single, I'm, you know, whatever. But I'm just saying, perhaps that's something to do with it as well. And if I had children, obviously, I would re relate to it more if I had little, little kids running around. But I couldn't, I'm not in that situation. Obviously, I'm 100% want to have children. But yeah, anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about that now. But I'm just saying, that's why, that's why I probably prefer the first one. But the second one is really good. Oh my God, it's really, really, really good. Um, I think it's just, it's just incredible. The music, they kept a lot of the soundtrack as well from the first movie. The kind of uh, 
Like, um, yeah, the soundtrack from the first movie, a lot of the, just, the, the Vega Lee music, they put it in the second one. And it's just incredible. Wow, what a movie. And I hope it does really well. Because the first one is 2.9 billion, highest grossing of all time. So glad it overtook Avengers Endgame. I never knew Avengers Endgame initially became the highest grossing movie. Then, it, then Avatar got re-released. I never knew that. And now, um, just like I said, Avatar is just so, so good. I think I did a review of this a, f a few months ago when I had a short hair and I had a bit of a beard and I had my blue t-shirt. I wasn't going to wear the blue t-shirt today, but... I, I, don't, I can't even, I, I just think the blue t-shirt, I mean it looks alright, so but I don't want to waste, I don't want to wear the blue t-shirt, this looks smart on me I think, probably, I don't know, but yeah, um, it just Avatar is such an incredible movie, it's just so good and I, I really highly recommend seeing it, it is over three hours long, I would highly recommend seeing it, because it's just one of, it's a one of a kind movie, and it costs almost half a billion to make, and it's 13 years in the making, when the first one came out I was 13, and now I'm, I'm 26. And like I said, it's just, it takes your mind away. It's breathtaking seeing Atiri's big eyes, even in the trailer. I mean, like I said last time, Atiri's got such big eyes and, and they make, take your breath away. Seeing her eyes, I mean, I see, you know, I don't know really, but it's just, they just take your breath away, the CGI. And there's a bit, there's actually a scene in the, the, the second Avatar where um, there's a scene in it where um, you see, I think one of the girls, Kiri, I think, who's played by Signori Weaver, one of the daughters of Jake, certainly, in, in Atiri. There's a bit where she's in the water, looking at the sand, and then and the camera quickly. It's not, it doesn't last so long. I kind of wish they would focus on it more because it was such an incredible view, where, where, where it focuses on her face, and her face looks incredible. Like the, the effects look unbelievable, and yeah. And there's another sort of thing I'd say. I'm not trying to criticise. I'm just saying that all the scenes underwater were really good. They were um, they were breathtaking, incredible. I'm just saying it's so sort of, it looks slightly foggy and misty to me. I thought. The avatars look clearer when they were out of the water. I suppose that that would, that would be realis realistic, though. You can imagine filming underwater realistically; it, it would look more you, you clear, more clear out of the water. Anyway, I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I'm just saying. Um, I think when they were filming it, um, yeah, I don't know. If perhaps they should have realised, but they should have quit because it was a little bit foggy looking at it in the water. Because it, it was meant to be anyway. Because it was underwater. I'm just saying. I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, it was a really good movie. It's breathtaking. It's probably going to be the highest. Highest gross movie, maybe in the top three or four. But yeah, like I said, I'd highly recommend seeing it. Um, it's just such a good movie. And um, it took my breath away. It took my breath away when I saw it the first time. I remember seeing it in the old St. John's in Marlborough. Not the old St. John's, the new St. John's. The new St. John's um, opened in March 2010, and I was in year nine then. And then I saw it probably a few months after, maybe mid-2010 when I was still in year nine, or maybe towards the end of year... Towards the end of... 2010 when I was in year 11 or year 10 I don't know I'm getting confused I think I was yeah whatever but either way I saw it when I was in the new St John's Theatre on the Hill um, I remember watching it then about tw it was around 20 I think it might be late 2010 if it was late 2010 I would have been in year 9 would I? year 10 <laughs> for God's sake I would have been in year 10 so yeah um, yeah it was an incredible movie and yeah I highly recommend seeing it what a movie it's just, you know, take, your, take your partner with you take your girlfriend your boyfriend um, take your family with you. Um, take, take your, I don't know, take your, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, and yes, yeah, so watch the movie. And yeah, it's such, such a good movie. So yeah, I would um, highly recommend seeing it. And uh, yeah, it will take your breath away. You might get emotional. The CGI, the effects were just—it's mind-boggling. It doesn't compare to any any other film. Um, you got a good credit to James Cameron. That's why I hope the Avatar. I try to challenge you. I think the first Avatar is probably my favourite movie of all time. I'll probably say it is. The first Avatar is probably my favourite movie of all time. The second one, I'm not sure. I mean, I love the movie. Perhaps, it was probably 100% top 10. It has to be. That's why I'm seeing it again. I want to see it again, because when I saw it the first time, I wasn't... I was, I was totally taken aback. I wasn't expecting... I, I didn't really see the trailers. I wasn't expecting it to be so family-orientated. I was, like, a bit taken aback. But all these sort of children and everything, I thought, oh, I can't really relate to that. I mean, it's like, I'm not, you know... I don't have kids, it's kind of hard to relate to. That's the thing, I find the first one more able to relate to. Oh, I find the first one. The second one is really, I'm not trying to criticise, I'm just saying for me personally, it's slightly harder to relate to. Like I said, even James Cameron said he wanted to be more family orientated. But for me, like I said, I haven't got children, I'm in a relationship, so it's like hard for a little bit. I'm thinking about mm, having kids in it. It's just, you know, but I absolutely love the movie. And it's there isn't really much going on. Not really, but... um. Yeah, highly recommend seeing it. I'm about to see it for a second time today, probably Greenwich or something. Yeah, I'm seeing it a second time. It's not the first time in Greenwich, isn't it? Second time, yeah. And um, yeah, see it at least once. Like I said, even if it's too long for you and if you're not sure about it, I promise you, 
you'll see it and it will take your breath away because it's one of the greatest movies ever made. This series is just incredible and I highly recommend, yeah, see it.